Today, we've got something pretty special for you. This just came in from Speed Cube Shop. This is the Hytune Wave Rider V1 Flagship Edition. I have not seen any reviews on this cube anywhere. So I was like, I'm an honest reviewer. I wanna make a like quick little, like honest thoughts and opinions about this. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So, um, and if you guys have not joined yet, or maybe you have and you want more entries, go ahead and check the description out. We've got a little giveaway going on for three GAN 12s. Um, totally free to enter, so no reason to not, right? That's what I'm saying. All right, so uh, I'm struggling with this tape. We're just gonna use my fingers here. Okay. So opening the box, here's what we get. We get a business card, which this like low key feels the same like thickness and like density as GAN. So maybe they're trying to copy GAN, maybe they're a sub brand. I don't know if you guys know, let me know in the comments, uh, but cool looking card. I like the metallic effect on there. Put that to the side. Um, we also get accessories, the cube, and then a stand. So here is the stand, pretty cool. Get their logo on it but we don't really care for stands that much. We wanted to see the cube today. So I guess my first impression on this is it is pretty dang light. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's get this wrapping paper off of here. Okay, and then we get a little bit more glimpse of the cube. So it's got, man, it's not UV coated. It kind of looks like it in camera, um, but it's some kind of more glossy plastic but I guess my fingers feel like it's like pretty tight, like it's not gonna fall out of my hands or anything. Um, and then I guess the next thing I notice are these big gaping holes in the front. So pretty cool looking, um, but yeah, it just looks a bit different than say like my old main, my Mei Ying. Um, the holes are a little bit smaller on this one, but I guess maybe this is more normal sized. Let's go ahead and do first turns. You guys wanna see that, okay. Let's start M. Okay, not bad. Feels really loose. Yeah, it feels really loose. Like, I know you guys hate when I do this. I might need to tighten it up here a little bit, um, but let's look at the cube a little bit more and then we'll tighten it up. So um, this is the first time I've ever seen this, but like exposed magnets on the outside. These almost look adjustable. There's like a little gap in it. Like you can like low key unscrew it. Um, I'm not seeing any magnets exposed in the corner pieces, but there are definitely magnets inside of them. Um, and then let's take a look at the mechanism on the inside quick. Wow. That looks pretty cool. Um, it looks just like GAN's system with dual tensions, one in the center, one on the exterior, and then numbers um, to kind of help you get there. But they do have a screw, which is weird, especially using that kind of maglev tensioning system. I think that's what it's called. Um, if I ever say anything wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm just trying to give my like honest observations about this. Let's take a look at what's in the accessory box though quick. So we can kind of get more of an idea of how we can like set up this cube. But on the inside, we have a nice little bag here with a microfiber cloth. Pretty cool. looks like it's got their logo embroidered in it. And I dropped something. Maybe not. I don't know where their logo just went. I thought I saw it for a second. Oh, there it is. That's kind of cool. Uh, put that to the side because I've never used one of those. Also, the cube bag is kind of cool as well. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so this looks to be the tensioning tool, which looks like a little frog. Um, also, I'm curious, this is plastic. Like, I feel like this is just going to break. I don't know why they didn't do it out of metal uh, or aluminum or something. Um, just a little instruction pamphlet left in there. So we'll go ahead and throw that to the side. But I'm curious, I wanna see if these magnets are actually adjustable or if I'm just bugging out here. But yeah, it fits. It fits and you can turn the magnet. So it looks like the edge piece magnets are adjustable. Also, let's go ahead and check out the, man, I'm so curious. 
Oh, there's like some little grooves you can like fit this key into and then turn it. It looks like the center, it's so hard to see because it's like clear, but it looks like the center adjusts as well because it has more numbers on it here. I don't know if that's just like you have to screw it or what, but let me tighten this cube up and then we'll get kind of a couple solves in and just see how it feels. Okay, so I think I got the tensions kind of how I want them, um, which I guess it came on like the loosest setting, which is really odd. Um, I'm really hoping, I guess I had problems with the GAN 14 that the tensions would change. Uh, like after like 10 or 15 solves, I could start moving around. Um, I'm hoping this does not have the same issue, but uh, let's go ahead and get a solve in and uh, I'll kind of talk about I guess I'll voice over like how I'm feeling about this cube. All right, just like I said, I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts and opinions really quick on this cube. And this is very important if you're thinking about buying this. I opened up the box and as you can kind of tell by like how I was talking, I was very, very skeptical about how bad the cube was performing out of box. And I think that was mainly due to the way they come set up. I went ahead and took this cube apart and then set all the magnets to like the strongest setting um, that's offered and then I went ahead and I tensioned the cube uh, completely. I did it to like almost the tightest setting but like two clicks off um, and this cube instantly became my main. I think the draw to me for this cube, I have a very very heavy turning style um, and I think this cube plays perfectly into that. Now none of my cuber friends have tried this yet who have different turning styles than me so I can't say it's going to be perfect for anybody. But for me, I felt with my type of turning, this was one of the most controllable cubes um, that I own. Um, even though you see me get a DNF right here, I was just so excited um, being sub 20 there. Um, but we marked that as DNF. You guys know we don't cheat. Um, I guess to wrap this up quickly, this cube is really good. It out of the box is pretty trashy, but do not let that um, sway your opinion on this cube if you end up getting it really take the time set it up even though there's a couple bad draws like the um, like the clear plates for tensioning like you can't even tell uh, what tension you're on or the plastic tool for magnets um, even though those, those two things are bad I've only ever had to use them once and I can't see myself ever using them again so I think they're fine um, but this cube's awesome all around highly recommend it but I appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end of the video. So let me know if you made it in the comment section by commenting cat, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.